y'all so i just did this super quick date night makeup look if you want to see how i did this keep on watching okay so hi i am going to do a quick <laughs> ew i'm gonna i'm gonna attempt to do like a quick get ready with me for a date type look thing but like i'm kind of last minute with it like i am for most things okay so now i've got those babies on i'm just gonna take angel samples foundation satin finish in the shade 109 <coughs> I'm just gonna like press that into my skin, make sure it's blended out really good. Okay, so I've got that foundation fairly well and blend. No, I don't. No, I don't. Fairly decently blended out right now, so I'm gonna take another swig of my coffee. Use the Angel Samples brush number 10 in this pukey color. By the way, these brushes are dirty right now, but they're dirty for me, so I don't have any germs. <laughs> I'm just gonna like blend that into my crease. I'm gonna use this color. For my concealer, I'm just gonna take Tarte Shape Tape, which I'm almost out of, clearly. I just put a little bit under my eyes. Best I can, I can barely see right now. It's over here. <laughs> Now I'm going to use a really small amount of this um, light medium powder in Estee Water. It's dirty. Just like everything else I own. Oops. Actually, there's like enough in the lid for me to just swirl around. Put on my under eye. And just dust over my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup by putting, by doing under eye shadow and I'm gonna use the same color that I used in my crease for my under eye shadow and then a darker one to line it with an angled brush. So I'm gonna go on with that pukey color again and just like dust that right under my eye. So I definitely wanna go with the white eyeliner and I'm gonna use Coconut by Morphe. And just put that out. Put that in my waterline. This brightens my eyes up. All right, now to go back in with an angle brush. I don't know what this color is called, but I'm gonna just dab in that. And just kind of take that from the outer corner right on my lash line to the, like right to the middle pretty much. And I'm just gonna use a liquid liner. This is from Ulta. It honestly like works so much easier than any other eyeliner I've used and it's cheaper so I suggest it. Alright so for face makeup I'm going to use the Angel Samples Cheek Palette and I'm going to go in with this um, bronzy color. I'm going to contour with it. Just dust that right there. I say the term dust a lot because like so many people are really heavy handed while doing their makeup and I feel like that's been one of the biggest things with me improving at doing my makeup and other people's is just like barely touching the color being light handed with it because you can always apply more but it's very difficult to take some off and that's for sure. And I'm going to take a blush brush and I'm going to use this brighter pink right there and just do the same thing right above and a lot of times I like to take my beauty blender and just like go back over my skin and blend a little extra let's see what I'm looking like on here okay 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 a little extra right there I look cute so I'm going to do a little nose contour now with that same color that I was using just a second ago and just brush right along the edge. I guess really like the top of my nose. I'll be taking a fan brush and dipping it in that highlight in the Angel Samples cheek palette. 
on my cupid's bow right on the tip of my nose a little bit on the bridge of my nose and i'm gonna go back into this jaclyn hill palette and to be honest i don't think i said what i was doing earlier but i used this color right here in the top corner to highlight my brow bone and i'm gonna do the same thing and just use my finger and highlight my inner corner okay, now for lips i'm gonna use the color rimmel wait no no that's not what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use the color coffee bean by rimmel and the color hug me by mac best combination in the world Okay, so with a lipstick brush, I'm gonna just blend that out because you know it looks so great right now. Why would I ever want to blend it out? Ooh. Okay, so to finish this look, I'm gonna put on some lashes. I have no idea what these are. They're just like a really thick pair that I have left over from something somewhere, but I'm gonna put them on. <laughs> I am going to attempt to show you how I put lashes on using my phone for a mirror which like this is probably gonna be really hard but like okay that's my glue this glue dries clear and i like to get it like halfway dry oh i'm shaking this so much and then i just like literally just sit it right there Wow, I just did that so good. I am super proud of myself. Wow. One of my last steps, I'm going to use the Scandal Eyes by Rimmel Mascara and just blend my fake lashes with my real ones and get my bottom lashes as well. Okay, so I don't really have all my stuff with me right now, but I would typically like to use a setting spray after doing my makeup just to make sure it lasts all day. But um, in this case, it's like five o'clock and I'm about to go to dinner and I don't even have all my things with me. But this is the finished look. I'm gonna do my hair real quick and then um, I guess try and go on a successful date. Oh, I look great. Okay, so here's just a fun video of me carrying my stuff to the car. <laughs> and I really wanna show y'all the outfit I'm wearing. I don't know like where to sit my phone. So <laughs> I can just put it on the back of the truck, watch this. <laughs> and just ignore all the woods. I live in the forest. <laughs> I mean, get those puppies up. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Okay, I think I broke something. <laughs> real cute, real cute, okay. I like the um the wooded area as a background. <laughs>